we've just seen you hand the ambassador a plaque to formally welcome him and the embassy to the borough. Yeah. How does that feel to you to be able to be a part of such an important day? It is humbling in a sense to be part of a borough and to have the leadership of the borough at a time of huge, huge transformation. And to welcome the US ambassador, you know, in a sense, to a building that has in fact kick-started the transformation of this area. So it was, it was a great honor and a huge opportunity for this borough. The building is the building, it'll age, it'll date, and it'll, it'll move on a bit. But it is what happens inside the building. It's critical to our country, but it's critical to our borough. And the people who have come to live here and work here and are becoming part of our community are the important assets that America brings to us. It's going to have quite far-reaching benefits, isn't it? Oh, um, let me say, just outside there is a glazier and a window cleaner's van parked there. It's a local business which has a contract to clean the windows of this, this embassy building. There is an enormous advantage both to the immediate local community but also to the wider local community. How do you feel about going into the future and what are some of the things that you feel strongly about doing in terms of the connection between you and the locals? Well, that's extremely important to me and to the people who work here. Community service is something that uh, is kind of my family, what we've done from day one. It's been very important to be part of the community and uh, be a, a good member of whatever is going on. It's going to be really exciting to see this thing grow as these residential buildings go up. I think you're going to see an explosion in restaurants and all the services that people, like where I come from New York, Within five minutes, I can get pretty much everything I want. And that's gonna happen here too.